What's up my crypto fans, so this raw update is coming at you because the PGV saga is going on still and yes, Manny said the deadline is in about 6 hours and everyone is for the 24 billionth time definitely getting their refunds and that he's taken a loan to pump money into the contracts and that you're all going to do a self refund on the gems and that the refunds are going to start going in the spreadsheet wallet but there's some fundamental factors why i don't think this can happen and there's some fundamental factors of why i think this whole loan thing is a load of bs and i'm going to give you some facts and stats of why i think it is not impossible but it's near on impossible to get this loan for this money so if you want to know all this cool stuff and more stay tuned and let's go crypto So for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Christian, it's Crypto IG, where I give you the news, reviews and overviews in the Crypto DeFi, yes, and sometimes NFT space. And I also call out BS Bingo, and that's exactly what today's video is. Now, obviously, anything you see here or choose to ignore is not financial advice. You know that, it's just me being nice. But firstly, I just want to say that for those of you that are waiting for the refund that the again for the 20 billionth time has been promised to happen no later than in the next six hours time today i don't think it's going to happen and i'm going to show you exactly why now i don't just pay your lip service like manny i will give you some facts and stats i know quite a bit about crypto loans i i sort of like deal a lot with kind of finance and i know a lot in the crypto space and i know what it takes to get a crypto loan yes it's a lot easier than a conventional loan but they don't just throw loans out based on screenshots of money you might have in an exchange and could possibly give him a certain percentage back as and when you get it out it just doesn't happen now for those of you also that are waiting on the self-certified refunds you can see here the loan he said he was getting yesterday has not happened shock and that there's no money in this contract for the people still trying to get the refunds based on the video that was on the website if we have a look at the home page here for those of you not seen the video manny does go over here and explain that he is giving away the refunds no later than the end of today and that he's been getting threats and stuff and that's been causing some delays and that he wants to refresh the discord you know all the usual bullshit bingo now let me just tell you i don't do these videos to bash manny and i don't want to bash manny because you know i'm sure the guy's doing some things okay but oh my god you need to treat your investors with a bit more respect than just constantly lying to them like day after day after day but I want to go through a few things before I go back to that that contract because I just want to give people who have opium and believing that they're getting the refunds day after day and probably relying on the on the money back. Why you need to really just understand the facts of the BS that's being talked here now. Again, did Manny say he was going to unpause the contract on the 28th? Yes. Has he done it? No. Did he say he was going to pump contract funds into the contract by the 28th? Yes. Has he done it? No. Did he say he was going to get the crypto loan on March the 27th? Yes. Has he done it? Well, I don't think so, because if he said he'd done it, he was going to pump the money into the contract. So let's go over the problems that the crypto loan creates. Yeah. Sorry, it's a bit scruffy. It's in the Word document. Um, I'll zoom this in for everyone. There we go. And I'll actually, I'll try and zoom out a little bit because my big fat head's in the way. Step one, he needs to choose his borrowing platform. So say he's got his borrowing platform. This is how crypto loans work. So say he's got his borrowing platform. He's managed to do that and he's, he's reached out to him. Then he needs to choose his crypto asset. Man, he does not have access to to it he says so he don't have access to this crypto so how is he going to get this crypto as leverage he can't just send them a screenshot of crypto on an exchange it's like you going into a bank and sending them a bank statement or a photo of a, your nan's bank statement and saying my well, nan's got this money i've not got access to it i can't get hold of it but can you can you give me a big fat bank loan against it it, it just wouldn't happen let's all use common sense here it just wouldn't happen. Then you need to choose how much you want to borrow, right? And the companies that genuinely do this loan only give you 80% of, of the value. So that's, for instance, is if you wanted to borrow, you know, say a million, a million dollars, you've got to give them in crypto, not, not a screenshot. You've got to give them in collateral as crypto $1.2 million, right? So where is he getting that? If you had access to that $1.2 million, rather than giving it to someone as a loan for 80%, you would give it back as refunds, right? Because no matter what he takes a loan against, he has to give 
you know what I mean? 20% extra is collateral in most most loans. And LTV loan to value, you need to consider that sometimes it can be even 35% less. Then on top of that, the next step, you need to connect your wallet to a platform exchange. Now, I don't know. Now, you can leave a comment below, but I don't know many good crypto loaning platforms that I would trust my asset with that that don't do this they don't have custody of your crypto because if you default on a loan what's to say you could just run off they've got no no backup no backing they've just got a name against the loan so he does not have the funds to connect step six the final piece is send your funds to the loan provider now he, he isn't going to do that so so boys and girls you tell me right how when you've looked at all this stuff how when you've looked at what what manny's doing how when you've you've got all this information how is he going to get this loan do you know so i know manny you look you you do look at these videos and i know you reach out to my videos like just just enough's enough now i'm i'm telling you honestly enough's enough no one's going to believe a word you say you 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 say you're scared for your family and you're worried about death threats and people putting your personal information out there just cut the the bullshit just cut the bs bingo get on an ama whether it be with anyone you've got you've got a lot of people putting these um videos out that you might choose i'm probably the only one and you can go and check it on youtube that will give you the real information yeah i know some people want to sit on the fence with manny and some people are still like kind of bumming the project um but i have no reason to and i and i, and I just hate people in DeFi. you know i do DeFi projects myself and it's shot like this it gives it a bad name now I think Manny's got himself in a mess, probably through through good intentions, but he's not helping himself. So for those of you that still believe you're getting a refund in six hours, fair play to you. I pretty much guarantee you're not. Um, and I put my money where my mouth is that I, if everyone gets their refund in the next six hours, as Manny's promised, everyone's refunded. I will do a competition to give away $500 in BNB. And even I'm that confident, there's a project that I'm involved with called WayPay. I'll even give $1,000 in WayPay token that's going to be worth $1,600 on launch. I'll airdrop that in a competition if Manny does, as everyone says, get these refunds out in the next six hours. But I'm telling you now, all of this is a load of BS bingo. I think... It takes people like me to dig into these lies he's saying when he and, and I'll continue to do it. If he's conning investors and he's coming out with information to you about loans and stuff like that, I'll rip it apart because unless it's genuine, unless he comes out with some substantial evidence of why these why he can get this loan, how he's getting this loan, um, based on your funds. I mean, don't mean personal information. Just just tell us just tell us the flow. Just say this exchange, a lending this, blah, blah, blah. And, and we'll have a bit more substance to believe. But to me, you've just seen everything I've explained there. And I think a load of it's bullshit bingo, unfortunately. But that's my job. My job's to keep people safe in DeFi. My job to call people out when I think they're being a bit bs -er. And I think Manny's just let himself down again. And the project's just gone to shine. So as always on Crypto OG, trade smart, trade safe, and don't get wrecked.